Hi, Sajid here with part two of our new tutorial. That well, yeah, our new tutorial that I'm starting. That sounds kind of weird. Uh, okay, today we're gonna actually get started. This this has been like my fourth retake of this, so bear with me here. Just opening Unity. I still really haven't figured out what Unity 3.3 really changed. The Pro version, I know it added uh, like Android testing. I don't develop for Android, I don't know how to. I don't even develop for iPhone anymore, so it, it didn't really do anything, but it's always nice to have the best software. Okay, here we are when we left off. Now, you're going to want to this is where you're gonna have to start following me and you're gonna have to do what I do it might be slightly different I'm sorry PC people or you Mac users out there just follow me head on so we're going to go to file new project and we're gonna select all of these I'm not going to do this, I've already created a new project, so once you do that, you hit create project and name it Combat 33 right here, okay? And you can click set and set it where you want it to save, create a new folder or something like that. I'm just going to open up the one I already made. Um, let's see, it's called Combat. Oh, I hope you like my wallpaper, by the way. It's, it's pretty nice. Not high definition, but... And I was looking at my... My... My first tutorial. And it was quite a bit laggy. Uh, horrible, horrible quality. I'm really surprised. I thought QuickTime would, would be better than this. Uh, but it wasn't. But I'm not really complaining, because... You know, I don't really care. So, okay, here we have our new project. Nothing very interesting. I am going to customize my window to the way I like it. You can change it all you want. This is how I do it. Okay. Now, we are going to create... I'm going to make it... Uh, let's just start out with third person. So before we do that... I'm just going to go to my project panel and search up first person controller. Oh, no, first we go to create game object plane. Let's focus in on that. Whatever. Oh, it's right there. Okay. And let's reset that position and let's make the scale 20 by 20. And make this 2.5 maybe. Okay. So we here I have a really boring plane. This is usually what most people start out with. It's just that. So, oh, hold on. I haven't, this is Unity. Unity. Uh, guess not. Um, so right now you can see, it's looking kind of dark here. This is our game window. You might or might not have one. If not, you can add one. I'll get to that later. But our scene is looking really dark. So, it's, we could add a point light. Here, I'll just do that for you so you can see. And it does create a certain amount of light, you know. You can change that to be bigger or smaller. But we don't want that right now. We want our whole entire boring little world to be colored. Not colored, but lit up. So we're going to go game object, create other directional light. Okay, a directional light makes light obviously in the direction it's facing. 
which would be this way. So we don't want it to face that way because we don't have anything in our scene. So hit rotate. Sorry about that. Uh, hit rotate right here up in the corner along with uh, pan, move, and resize. Uh, so we're going to select rotate. Hit alt and then just drag. Select the red and start moving it down until our scene is nice and lit up. No, maybe I shouldn't do that. It doesn't really look good. And it, okay, but the good thing about point lights is that they don't have to be near where you're lighting. So we can take this and put its position to like 999. 999. 999. And it's still lit up just fine. So now let's get back to what I was talking about first. I'm gonna look up F I R S T in your little search thing. And here you have a blue box called first person controller. Boxes, boxes are prefabs. I don't know why these are gray. Oh, it's anyway. Um, and prefabs are basically game objects. Here in this little corner, you can see what it looks like. It looks really boring because it is. It's not here to be look to look nice. It's here to be functional. So take that, and we're going to drag it into our hierarchy. That should take it to, no, hit reset position, and move it up. Okay, 